with a nude video and uh, what's nude about this video is uh, my new eyeshadow palette and everybody's been talking about the I need a nude uh, palette coming out from Natasha Denona and that just isn't me and I did swatch it but I it's I'd get a palette that I wouldn't use so uh, I decided not to do that but to kind of go ahead and do this video instead and so let's go ahead and get started. I started off with the glow oil with the SPF 50. This is by Supergoop and then uh, the True Match C 2.5 and uh, so this is a cool tone 2.5 and then as far as what I did after that, that's where things got complicated. And so, um, yeah, I did go ahead and use Empower by LYS as far as one of my blushes. And I put that on the back part of the cheek, so Empower. And then Unforgettable, which is another cream LYS uh, product. And I went ahead and put that on the front of the cheek on the apple of the cheek. So that's what I did there. So I have uh, these two. These two on. And then uh, what I did in addition to that was I pulled out my Revolution and uh, Peach and I went ahead and put a little bit of that on here. And then I kind of decided that that wasn't quite enough as far as a sparkle. So I grabbed out my Master Chrome by Maybelline in uh, 150 Molten Peach. And let's see if I can get this open. And so this is what I actually ended up using as a topper. And yeah, I used a lot of it. Um, so I didn't use it as a highlighter. I pretty much used it as a topper. And so that's what I have on there. Oh, I forgot bronzer. I did go ahead and use the MAC bronzer. Again, became one of my favorites really quickly, the Light Rosy Radiant. And um, as far as what I went ahead and used on the eyes, I did go ahead and again, because everybody's talking about nudes, I went ahead and picked up the Mini Starlet uh, from Natasha Denona and this is the second five pan palette that I've gotten from the line and to me um, yeah these are pretty nudes pretty as in pretty nudes I went ahead and used this one in my crease I used this one right above the crease and then I used uh, this one on the outer corner this one on the lid and then this one on the brow bone and uh, what I did go ahead and add in was a little bit of Ladybird by uh, Colourpop, the Super Shock. So I went ahead and put that over it just because, um, or on the lid, because I like my lid to be a little bit shinier. And so that's what I did there. Uh, let's see, as far as eyeliner, I used the Emride eyeliner. This is how the look came out. And I think it's a pretty look. Um, again, it it's a little bit nude for me, but I wanted to play with some of these because I wore nudes for, well, I wore uh, one, it wasn't really shadow sticks, but it was the One Look Eyeshadow uh, with a lot of mascara for a long time. And so I would pick out, you know, really, shiny colors and um so now having a whole bunch of nudes that give you a whole bunch of depth i'm just it's pretty it really is it's very pretty and um maybe it's something that you can appreciate more in person but you know uh let's see i went ahead and used brink by ColourPop for my lip liner and then the give me s'mores and this is a just a tint by ColourPop. So as far as the lips, uh, these two are what I have on here. Yep, so that's how that turned out. And I think it turned out really pretty. Um, again, you know, nudes aren't necessarily uh, 
what I gravitate toward anymore. Um, I wore them for a very, very long time, and I do like colorful eyeshadows at this point. But um, yeah, as far as quality and blending and just an overall really nice formula, they Natasha Denona does have it. I mean, it's gorgeous. And I went ahead and used the Glowish. And as far as my finishing powder, and this is in Fair One. Oh, and there's somebody out mowing the lawn. So if you're hearing that, sorry about that. And so I think that's pretty much how this look turned out, except for, of course, the usual suspects that I forgot. Uh, Oma by Sharon C. for the brow in taupe. And this is one you can get at Walmart. And then the Revolution uh, Relove. And this is the Long Lash Lengthening. This is actually a tubing formula. And then the Maybelline Sky High. I went ahead and mixed these two as far as mascara goes. And other than that, I think that's the whole look. I think it's very pretty. And um, yeah, it's a very feminine, very pretty kind of look. And so uh, I think I'll go ahead and leave the video there and I hope that you have a great day. Okay. Bye.